Back to another walk and talk with your host Crypto Father. Uh, today I think Liam's joining me on this little morning walk. It's very, very breezy. Liam, are your hands not cold yet? I wanted to talk about uh, moving to South Korea and how that happened for me and how uh, you could do it if that's what you're planning on doing. Clearly there is a, uh, there's many different ways of, of moving anywhere to live abroad but uh, how it happened for me and I assume how it happens for most of the expats who um, decided to, to come and uh, teach English abroad is uh, um, you finish your university you uh, you pack your bags, preferably find an employer prior to departure. Um, you arrive on on the place and start work and your life, new life in a new country. Uh, for me, what happened was uh, uh, in 2004, uh, I graduated school, I graduated university, and uh, I headed down to Japan. And uh, I had no no work. Um, in place prior to leaving. Information available online about what it's like to move to Japan and it said that it takes an average of a month to th one to three months to find a job and that's pretty much what happened for me. I went to Tokyo, it took me about a month to find a job. I went through a bunch of interviews um, and uh, and before I actually found the one that hired me um, the time of a month was up. Then it took uh, about two more months for my employer to secure a uh, visa, a working visa for me, uh, during which time I basically worked for the employer for two months, um, illegally I guess you could see because they didn't really have a visa yet. Uh, some employers ask their new employees to leave, Korea, to leave Japan, which you will have to do anyway. And then once, uh, you know, upon re-entering uh, Japan, your visa will be, um, I guess, activated at the border by the immigrations. And then you're ready to go. Um, so after spending a year in Japan, I, I, uh, I decided to, to move. And a friend of mine suggested South Korea because she had spent here six months and she said the living was easy and yada, yada, yada. So, uh, I did find an employer in Korea prior to leaving Japan. Uh, that was a lot easier uh, since back in 2005 there was a lot of employers looking for, for people to work. Uh, these days, yes, what is that? You found an acorn. Oh. Fantastic. Take it home oh. and put it in your pocket. Oh, My pocket? pocket. Okay. <clears throat> As I was saying, I found an employer prior to leaving Japan. Um, I came into the port of Busan, uh, a recruiter, so I found it through a recruiter. A recruiter picked me up, dropped me off uh, an hour later at the uh, place of employment and disappeared forever. I've never seen the guy again afterwards. And I spent a year working in this, in this job, uh, which at the end of my contract screwed me over for about two grand of a month's salary basically even though I did them a favor of working an additional month. So be careful. Uh, I guess these days such things don't really happen anymore as the government's tightened up uh, things a lot more and there's a lot more protection for employees and such. But uh, I guess they could still occur. I didn't really want to be a teacher. That was never my plan. It just kind of so happened that I became one. Um, and that's, I've been pursuing this job ever since. <laughs> I worked in, in Korea and uh, Canada for about a year prior to leaving. I worked for a year as, a, as a, an English tutor, uh, unknowingly that I was going to leave Canada. Back then I had no plans yet. Um, my suddenness of wanting to, to leave Korea, Japan, to leave Canada and uh, work abroad came, came about. Um, towards the last year of my university. And so in 2005 when I came to Korea, um, 
you know, things just fell into place. I started working at my first job, then the next, then the next. Um, I left Korea for a couple of years. I did my master's at Nottingham. Uh, I came back, started working at universities. Um, and now I'm here at this point where I run my own school. Uh, I'm not sure which one's actually better. There are, there are benefits and perks to, to uh, the different types of jobs available. The different types of jobs you do. Private schools, public schools, universities and private, your own businesses. I've done them all. Um, and I can tell you that uh, all of them have their goods and bads. There is no perfect position, I guess. Well, it's perfect depending on the circumstances in which you find yourself. Uh, on what your your expectations and your needs are But uh, I'm not gonna go into that. Maybe I can cover that in, a, in another video So yeah in a nutshell, that's a very quick little summary of how I came to Korea if you like that little walk and talk uh, please uh, like Subscribe hit the bell button for for more uh, For more updates for me and uh, leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions and I hope to see you in the next one. Crypto Father out. Would you like to come swinging in the morning? <laughs>